and welcome back to the Homebody Mama channel. My name is Jade. Thank you for joining me. So today's video is going to be about me just getting spring together. I have all these beautiful new plants that are waiting for me to put them in the ground. The serrano peppers, tomatoes, um, watermelon squash, just all the regular plants. Right here are my beans that I have going, growing. Um, this is my first time growing beans. I'm really, really excited. So today's video is going to be about me just planting my rose bushes. Uh, I've never done anything like this before and I'm really excited to have you guys join me in my gardening journey. This is not my first year gardening, but I have taken a few breaks over the past years due to me moving to different places that didn't allow me to garden the way that I want to. So this is actually my first time being able to garden in my backyard and just go wild with different things that I want to plant. So I'm very, very excited to bring you guys along. Um, I never had rose bushes. So today is my first time planting rose bushes and having uh, the dream of having a nice big beautiful rose bush so the one that you see me here potting right now i bought them two weeks ago it's this one and, and the next one that you'll see and i bought them on sale at heb for like two for seven and they were really really pretty so this one that you see me um, picking the dead ones off right now this one was white and uh, the other one was red. So this white one for some reason just died as soon as I got home. That's why I'm like picking off the dead ones. I had it for like two weeks now. I neglected them. I had them inside and I neglected them. They didn't get any sun or anything like that, but it's so strange that this one just died so fast, except for like one plant and the other one did not. So the one that you're seeing right here, this is this is the red one that I got the same day that I got the white one and it's flourishing. It still has like three plants in there. It's actually gotten way bigger since uh, since I bought them. So I was like, you know what? This one's growing. This, this other one's trying to grow back. Let me get these in the ground while the sun is beautiful, while I have fertilizer and I have the extra time. Because I've always, I don't know about you guys, I've always wanted like big, beautiful rose bushes. My goal in the future is to get like a trellis and grow those rose bushes that bind up it. And so like when you walk through, it's just like a beautiful cottage vibe. That is what I want one of these days, but we'll see, we'll see right now. So right here, I'm just potting it up. I bought me some uh, soil, and I do have some very, very strong fertilizer. It's called um, Fox Farm or something like that. It's very colorful. Um, uh, I'll put a picture here if I, if I find it online. But it's very uh, strong, so I got it for, I got the, the one with a lot of uh, nutrients uh, in it so the, the the roots can grow and it can grow back. I didn't show it in this video, but you can see the dead um, flowers at the top. So I did cut those off um, in hopes that they grow back. And so they're like really, really pretty later on because they were so pretty when they were in bloom. Hopefully here in the next few weeks I can see them in bloom again, but I don't know. I haven't really done my research about um, roses and rose bushes like that, but I know people who have gotten them really, really tiny at the store and they pot them and they put them in the ground or they put them up in a nice big pot and then they grew to be like really cute bushes. So we'll see. So the bush that you see here, this is how the two bushes uh, that I planted already looked when I bought them. They were already blooming. They're very, very tiny. Oh, that's my cat, Martha. She's pregnant, by the way, guys. Oh my God, we're gonna have kittens. Um, that's how they all looked. And so when the white one died, I was very disappointed. Um, but I was like, you know what? Let me just get them in the ground. And so when I decided to pop the first two, I was like, let me buy two more so I can have like a whole like, you know, 
thing of bushes everywhere because I have two front, I have two doors. Like I have a front door and a back door and a patio door. And so I was like, let me, uh, let me get a whole bunch of roses and like put them in the pots and everything from all over my house because this is, this is like my first year in a home. So I'm like really excited to like decorate it from the outside. Um, so one of these days it's going to look like a cottage. It's going to like one of those cottage gardening, garden like style homes. That's what it's going to look like one of these days. Well, but this is the first year, so we'll, we'll get there. You know, I just have to like calm down. <laughs> and not go overboard the first year. I've never got the chance to do that. So now that I do, I really am like putting all my energy into flowers and like growing vegetables and food and stuff like that. So the next um, flower that I'm gonna be showing you, the rose bush, is actually an opal pink. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I wish you guys could see this sucker in bloom. I might post a picture on my Instagram of what she looks like because oh, she's so gorgeous. So right here, when you see her, she's gonna look like the first one where um, she has her flowers out, but she looks red. Like the first one was a, a red one. This, the next day after I plant her and I fertilized her and everything like that, beautiful blooms just like opened up all of her all of her petals. And she was like a nice opal pink. Like they're so gorgeous. So I have to go, I have to take a picture. I can't do it right now because literally right after this Day, like I shot this video and the next day like her flowers came out she was beautiful the day after that it stormed for like three days straight and I didn't know that this pot right here did not have um, any holes in it so the water couldn't escape so she flood she's not dead I got her in time but I, it, ugh, I have to wait to take a, a, a cute picture of her and this is my baby, my, my oldest. I'm a mom of two. So this is my oldest. He's three going on four this May. And he's just like, mommy, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm just like planting my flowers, baby. <laughs> the joy of mother motherhood. I just had a, 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 a newborn too. She's barely two months in the making of this video. So I will be posting like more videos about like my childbirth, my experiences like that of um, being a mother. So I wanted to like document my experience with that and then just gardening like it's that time of the year. This is my favorite time of the year. So I want to bring you guys along as like a diary, like a, a gardening diary of mom. Love what you saw. Please like, share, and subscribe. There will be. 